Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay. I'm bringing us back another video. Um, it's not going to be too much intro on this one. Uh, I don't have any scripts. This is going to be straight from the heart. It's just been on my mind lately. You know, certain talks that I have with, you know, certain people in my life and how my life is headed toward this more positive direction in the past couple months, you know, compared to recent events that's been happening, you know, and today is pretty much is going to be like, why, why you can't lock in? And, you know, it could be a multiple of reasons, you know, you can't lock in because you worried about some bullshit. You worried about what the fuck somebody thinking about you. You worried about why somebody thinking like that's this about you? Why somebody saying that about you? Like you worrying about some shit that really don't matter. Like this life shit is short. Like I always say, like you can die tomorrow and that's it. It's over with. You know what I mean? And that's what I always try to preach. And that's what I always trying to say. Like, bro, nobody really gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Like it's just like when you go into the gym, and a lot of people might be like, you know self-conscious first coming in there about oh i don't want to wear this tank top and i might be too fat for this and i might be too skinny for this like bro like nobody really gives a fuck like nobody cares you know what i mean that's just that that's that spotlight effect and then that that's that insecurity and that's that overthinking that kills us you know what i mean overthinking and fear just fucking kills everything and i've been trying to get over that and get out of my fucking comfort zone all year and i really have been i will continue to do that we have things that we always have to work on i got shit i gotta work on every day it doesn't stop if you want to get better it's a it's a lifestyle it's not a thing where you lock in a couple months or you lock in for a week or two like no bitch it's every day you know what i mean and another thing is why people can't lock in because you're not worried about your own fucking lane and here's the fucking problem you got all these niggas worried about what these other niggas doing. Worrying about what hoes they fucking pocket watching, dick watching, like no homo. Doing whatever they doing. You steady focusing on the next man. Steady focusing on the next man. Steady focusing on why he doing this, why he wearing that, why he making that move. Like, bitch, you got to worry about your fucking self, bro. Like, what bag is you getting to? What hoes are you fucking? Like, what goals do you have? Did you wake up this morning and actually want to accomplish something? Like, did you take a step towards something? Did you accomplish something this week, this month, this year? You know what I mean? We have to really think about these things. We had these phones in our hand, and it's just a fucking, it's just a fucking distraction. You know what I mean? Looking at all this ass and y'all going and going out and partying and going out and smoking. Like, yeah, it's cool to have your fun, bro. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I want to have my fun and I want to celebrate like, you know, I have my fun and I really haven't been having that much fun this year, honestly. I mean, here and there, you know, but when I really want to have my fun, like, you know, it's going to be really, really worth it. You know, when I'm getting to a bag or something like that, like, yeah, have your fun, like enjoy yourself. But it's a difference when you're doing that every single weekend. Like, what the fuck are you celebrating? You know what I mean? But that's just how I think because I want more because I've wasted so much time in the past. So I can't afford to waste tomorrow. I can't afford to waste today. I, I couldn't afford to waste. I couldn't afford to waste yesterday. I can't afford to waste today. And I don't know if I have tomorrow. You feel me? You know, so you don't know if you got tomorrow. So that shit, once you think like this life shit short and you only got today, really, a lot of that fear and anxiety just goes out the fucking window. And trust me, I used to be a very anxious person and a very, a very fearful person that brought me back and that made me make so wrong so many wrong decisions in my life and that also influenced me to not try my best and not be the best and not be the man that i always truly wanted to be or am becoming you know what i mean so it's just like you can't lock in because you so fucking worried about everybody else you so worried about what the next nigga thinking like bro like just like for example like going into the gym like you got all these dudes in there just be staring at staring at people and not focusing on what the fuck really matter. Like, like, yeah, okay, it's cool to look at other people for motivation. It's cool to look at other people. But then also, like, you know, I don't look at anybody when I'm going to the gym. Like I do, but I don't. Like I might look at a female, I might look at a woman. You know what I mean? I might talk to some of my niggas, like, yeah, of course, you know, you peep certain people, like, duh. 
you know, you know, I'm not stupid, but I'm not staring at nobody. I'm so focused and locked in on these numbers and how many reps and repetitions and how I'm feeling. Am I feeling this muscle? Am I, do I got my pose right? Is my shoulders back? What am I hitting today? How's my energy feeling? I did the sauna. I got to do the cardio. What is my accessories like? I'm thinking about so much other shit that I'm not thinking about the next man and necessarily what he's doing. You know what I mean? And like I said, if I am looking around like that, it's probably because of a woman. And I'm barely doing that when I'm in there because I'm, fu I'm fucking locked in. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, and this, and this carries over in just the life. And it's just like, like, bro, like, if you're going to sit up there and complain to somebody all day and you sit up there complaining about shit, you're not trying to fix anything, then how am I able to hear that? Because, like, bro, this shit is struggle and this shit is a grind. And, like, bitch, we don't take weeks off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's cool. Like, definitely get your rest. Like, don't burn yourself out. But we can't say, like, don't burn yourself out if niggas don't even do shit to begin with. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's levels to this shit. It'd be different if, you know, you're putting in this work every day. Like, yeah, you deserve a day. Yeah, you might deserve a week. You might deserve a week and a half because you've been putting in so much fucking work and so much effort. You've been taking them little steps every single day. But when you get to a point where you don't want to fucking try and you don't want to do anything and then you still think that you're supposed to get your fair cut and your fair shot, fair shot and your fair slice of the pie that you put in no work for it and no, like, it's fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, I have no sympathy for a lot of guys on here, you know, who complain about, like, you know, they not getting attention from women or they people treat them bad and, you know, they have all these things happen to them. But it's like, bro, like, you haven't even fucking tried. You know what I mean? Like, it's guys and it's guys that really put in work. Like, it's guys, like, I've really put in, like, a lot of work. Like, it's guys that truly put in a lot of fucking work, and they continue to do that shit every single day, regardless. You know what I mean? Regardless of how they feeling, regardless if they've in a good mood or a bad mood. Like, bro, you can't fucking lock in because you so worried about the bullshit, the shit that don't matter. Like, you might not have tomorrow, nigga. You got to lock the fuck in, bro.